Google Scholar versus FSTA, the power of indexing. Google Scholar and FSTA work very differently in how they find the results they show you. One of the main differences between how they function is because Google Scholar is searching for exactly the word or words that you type, while FSTA is built on a thesaurus of controlled vocabulary. This thesaurus, which is compiled by food science experts, is comprised of terms all focused on and relevant to the sciences of food and health. These terms are arranged relationally. When researchers from different parts of the world use different words to describe the same concept, the thesaurus pulls those terms together. So in the FSTA thesaurus, flavor, spelt with a U, is used to make research that uses flavor with no U or taste all discoverable with a single search. The way that this happens is that an indexer for FSTA assigns the thesaurus term to each record to capture what that piece of research is about. This article about quinoa does not have the word flavor in its title or abstract, but flavor has been assigned to it because the indexer has noted that it was about a bitter tasting layer, which is another way to describe flavor. Google Scholar, on the other hand, has no controlled vocabulary. So when you search Google Scholar for flavor with a U, you get one set of results. Add an S, get a new set. Search flavor without a U, we get a new set entirely. Add an S to that, another set. Taste, different again. Tastes, yet again. Tasting, again. Move to another language, Spanish, and most of the results are actually in English. Search Italian gusto, and it happens again. And when we search in Korean, we get an entirely new set of results. We could keep going, and the results would keep changing and changing and changing again. If we go back to FSTA and do a search for flavor, we get results with both flavor spellings, taste, and plurals, thanks to the thesaurus underpinning our search. In fact, with a single search for flavor in FSTA, we get results in all these languages pulled together for you without you needing to figure out all the 40 plus versions of the word you would need to search in Google Scholar. And the titles and abstracts of each of these records will be available in English, so you can make an educated judgment about whether you actually need the full text. And that is the power of indexing.